All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video in my Grand Trust Before walkthrough. We are gonna be tuning up this Alpine A310. We are gonna be entering it in the classic Alpine race. This car is pretty freaking bad. I noticed immediately doing the max B test last week. Oh, by the way, like, subscribe, all that crap. So like what I've noticed is like, this car is very unstable. It's I think maybe because it's lightweight, but like I, it, it was terrible trying to turn this thing. So we'll have to kind of see how we do here. This might be one of those cars that we just have to tune up a lot ish to so that we just don't have to deal with like we just even if we spin out we're fine with a car like this if we just tune it up enough i guess but yeah the alpines are classic french cars they seem rally-esque with all the snow lights and all that stuff on the front they both kind of do that they will both look like that so i'm like well maybe that was what they were trying to do alpine is a cool brand i think they still there's like new alpines nowadays in these games but they have a classic Alpine event. I was surprised to see that because it's literally a championship, which just seems weird. So we're going to do race one today. Um, again, I don't know how good this car is going to actually be. It seems really bad. Like you can literally just destabilize the car by turning like more than normal. Like it shouldn't be that bad, but it is. So... Well, there's only one other version of my car in this race, so that'll be interesting. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, so I'm not going to mess with them on the first race. Usually on these a little bit more boring races, I will do something to mess with the AI, but I'm going to figure I'm going to let them uh, figure each other out here, see who's the best, and then I'm just going to kind of keep going. Um, I feel like my car is probably worse just because I feel like that's what they would do is they would give the they would give the rarer and better Alpine the prize car treatment of the race that it like is supposed to be in and then the other one is you know i got the other alpine from just like a special conditions race or whatever so yeah this car is very it just feels sluggish for being like a light a lot of cars from europe are like light and have not a lot of power because this is another one of them that's basically like a classic lotus it just feels like every car from europe and like is like this lightweight four cylinder just slow power, but super lightweight. So then you can kind of tune it up and then fly a little bit, but it always has a terrible top speed or whatever. This just feels like another version of that, but it's the French version. But um, but it's got really pretty bad handling. Like I'm having to work really hard just to keep this thing from not doing that, where I start to kind of understeer. Is that understeer or oversteer? I can't remember what steer that is. But basically the bottom of the, the back of the car starts to slide out and then you just go, well, it was nice being stable for a second and then you're not. So it's it's all right. Obviously when you're racing other Alpines, it's not the end of the world, but like I do try to use every prize car in this game and there's a French race and I'm probably gonna use that other Alpine that I win from winning this in that race. So I'm just kind of like embracing emotionally for the disaster that is using an Alpine in like a French race with like, well, modern day French cars are kind of terrible too. So like, It'll be an interesting time. It'll be it'll be an interesting next couple of weeks for this game. So hopefully it's fun. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. You know, give me your thoughts on Alpine. I don't even know anything about. I mean, again, this is what I love about Grand Turismo is my love of like random breed types of cars and brands of cars. Only it really happens because of Grand Turismo. Like I had no idea what any of these cars were before I played Grand Turismo. I didn't know a car. I didn't know a lot about cars until I started playing Grand Turismo. And then I was like, oh. Grand Turismo is like freaking awesome and cars are really cool even though I don't really know how to make them do stuff they're still cool so it seems like my Alpine is the terrible one that's the only car who's way in the back so this will probably be one of those series where I just shove the version of me into second place and then see how long it takes for him to end up in last that sometimes is how these little AI races go it's usually I mess up a bunch of people or in this case I'm going to try to just boost my car the, the person who is also driving the Alpine A, whatever this is. All these Alpine cars have crazy names. So I, 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 A, it's the A1300, maybe? I don't remember. But um, yeah, this car is pretty slidey. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, every car in the game has the same tires. So like, yeah, I could put racing tires on this thing and it would probably turn a lot better and be better and stuff. But like, 
it's just interesting to see the standard. Like, I always try to keep their, a kind of a common standard with all the tires of the cars in the game. Especially when I do, like, max speed tests. Like, obviously, if you put racing super soft tires on a car, it's going to launch off the line. And you have economy tires on another car, it's not going to do that. So, like, you gotta, I got to try to make sure everything is unique or everything is consistent. You got to have controls in this stuff. So, like, this car with economy tires is, like, a disaster. When other cars, it's like, no, they're fine. So... It just slides. The car just seems to want, it's like a weight thing. It's not even the tires. It's just like, if you turn left, it's like, all right, I'm gonna go turn left literally forever. I'm never gonna re-straighten ever. I'm like, you, you could do that though. So it's a good car in theory, I guess. I mean, it's a 1970s car. So it's, I mean, every 1970s car is gonna do something like this. And this car is rear wheel. That's probably why it's so crazy. It's because it's a rear RR drive train. So that's probably why. <laughs> But then you're also like, okay, I thought our, our cars had like a million horsepower and were like supercars, like Ferraris. So what was France doing making like a 100 horsepower car rear wheel? <laughs> I don't know. But um, still, can, it can get going. Once it kind of spins the tires a little bit, it can go. So it's not a terrible car. And I've tuned it up and made it decent. So Alpine A310 is what I'm driving. And then the Alpine 110 is weird, weirdly faster with the higher, higher numbers. That's kind of odd. I don't know. So thank you all for watching. I will talk in the replay. Y'all are great. Appreciate each and every one of you. Enjoy the next few weeks where I use Alpines and French cars. Yeah, okay. <laughs>